Hey everybody, what's up? It's TJ. You guys, I'm cooking. Imagine that. I'm cooking. I've been cooking. I just ain't been making videos of it. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys how to do a really awesome pasta meal, I guess. It's chicken and pasta. You guys are gonna like this. I am pretty doggone sure. So, the first thing you want to do is add some red enchilada sauce. This is easy, y'all. Nothing hard. Then you want to add some rotel. Get the original. You don't want to make it too hot or anything. This is going to be spicy, but you don't want it hot. Okay? Then, let's see. I'm going to do... Gosh chili powder okay I have minced onion I could not find my powder onion but I would usually use um, powdered onion but I'm gonna do minced a little bit of garlic salt okay some cumin, y'all. Take this lid off. Okay, there's that. All right, so we're going to kind of whisk this. Whisk this. <laughs> whisk this, y'all. Okay, this. Anyway, I'm going to whisk it up because sometimes the um, spices will clump up in there or whatever. So I like to just kind of give it a good little whisk. Okay. Shake that out. Get rid of it. Now I have two and a half chicken breasts. And you guys, when I freeze my chicken, when I bring it home from the store, I go ahead and I slice it in half, you know, long ways. And then I, I store it according to how much I need for a meal, okay? So I got one pack out and let it thaw, and it has five half chicken breasts. So I got two and a half. You're supposed to have three. Three chicken breasts. I have two and a half that's cut. And I'm just going to lay them out. I've already washed my chicken, y'all. I rinsed it really well in cool water. So I'm just going to layer this in there. Kind of, sort of. Let me get you a little closer so you can see me doing it. Like so. Kind of push it down in there. And then two more cut pieces. Now. This, I've got this I've turned on low. That's my hand. It's turned on low. Put the lid on. And we're going to leave that there for about five hours. If you are doing full chicken breasts that hasn't been cut, you don't want to do it five to six hours, okay? We're going to be adding a bunch of good stuff to this, okay, y'all? It's going to be good. So, y'all y'all come back now. I'm coming back. I'll see you in about five hours. All right, you guys, I'm back. It's been a, all day. Just about. Seems like two days. But this is done. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a plate out. lid off and I'm going to try to get the chicken out we're going to take it out temporarily got three pieces at one time wow Now we got all that good sauce in there. What 
Uh, Betty, Betty, stop it. Sorry, y'all. All right, so let me get that down to where y'all can see it. Now let me get a couple of ingredients. I'm trying, y'all, I'm trying. So we're going to use heavy whipping cream, and you can do about a quarter of a cup, okay? You're going to want a block of Philadelphia cream cheese, or any brand you want that's up to you. Store brand is just as good, or whatever brand. Okay, let me get this joker open. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm just going to drop it down in there. Oh, my goodness. I got a mess to clean up. And I'm going to do an, another piece of a block. Um... The recipe calls for Velveeta, like um, four ounces, something like that, which is about this size. And I don't much like using Velveeta because it's not that good for you. Okay, not that good for you at all. So I'm going to replace it with um, cream cheese. Um, I don't have any Velveeta anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. So you guys, don't ever be scared to use substitutes. And I had this frozen, so it looks funny. But it works just fine. It's not an issue. I don't want to waste all that goodness. Love cream cheese. Okay, so there's that. And you want to do about... A cup of cheddar cheese. Let me rinse my hands. Okay. So about a cup, okay? You don't, it does not have to be perfect. Get that goodness in there. It's about a cup. Okay. And we're going to let this melt all together okay in the meantime i am going to put my noodles on and you're going to want to do about a half a box about eight ounces okay about a half a box and you just cook them till they're done strain them and add it to your stuff along and add your chicken back and all that so we'll be right back okay you guys i forgot to put something in here so we're going to do that now Yeah, and I can't tell you these. Sorry, need a taco packet. And I buy the just the original because I don't want to. I don't want it to be too hot. So yeah, I've been having a lot of indigestion problems. So we don't need real bad stuff. Not me anyway. My oldest son is not a fan of hot stuff either. So I added the taco packet. Stir it around. I'm just making a big old mess. You guys know that I'm a mess maker. I've told y'all a million times I am a mess maker. Sorry. Anyway, um, I wanted to say also, um, because I'm doing new stuff on my channel, I expect that there to be new subscribers. So new subscribers, I wanted to let you guys know that I have actually been on YouTube for a very long time. I, I have had thousands of videos. 
um, I took a lot of them down because I am changing my content. Um, I'm cooking and gaming right now because those are the two things that keep me sane. Um, so yeah. And I will, you guys, for all of y'all, I do plan to start going live. I'm talking to a very good friend of mine. He's going to help me through this process. A lot of you guys know him, and that is Bushcraft. Bush, Bushcraft family. Um, he games. He has a separate channel that he games on. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure right now what that channel name is. I've known it before. I can't remember it right now. But he's going to help me. Um, he's going to teach me how to game live. Um, he was saying that a lot of people like to watch that building that I do on Fallout. And it going live with it is a good thing. So I'm hoping to get to try that. Um, I've got to buy some new cords for to be able to hook my TVs up to my computer. I have a really big TV that I like to game on, and I'm hoping to be able to hook that up to my computer. So, yeah, I got my water on for my pasta, and I need to do this. If it cools down, I can just do it with my hands. My hands are clean, y'all. I'm just going to shred it up. Let me lower that just a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to shred it up. Yeah, it's a little bit too hot still. And you could it doesn't have to be in tiny shreds. You can do it in whatever size you want. I just know a lot of people don't like real big mouthfuls of whatever, you know, one thing. So, yeah. Oh, you could cut this if you want. Heck, you can do anything you want. You know what? If you have canned chicken that you've canned and, you know, cubed, I've done that before. You could just put this right in there. Or put that right in there. Yeah. It cut your cooking time down big time. Yep. This stuff done. Any size you want. You can do small and big. Big and little. You're just going to have nasty hands. <laughs> And it don't have to be all one size, is what I'm trying to say. I have a dog just dying over here for this chicken. He's not getting it. Buddy, you're not getting this. It's too spicy for you. It'll upset set your tummy. Yeah, that's good enough. So I'm going to rinse my hands really quick. I am waiting for my water to start boiling. Then I will put the pasta in. I'll cook the pasta and I will be right back. All right, guys, really quick. Um, I tasted of it and it's a little strong to me with spices. So I'm going to tone it down with the, the heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to, I'm going to pour the whole carton in there. And that'll do it. And this is, oh my goodness, I can't see, 16 ounces. 16 fluid ounces. Stir it up. I might go ahead and put more cheese in here because I want it thick. It may still thicken up. I'll go ahead and put some more cheddar cheese in here. And you guys, you can put as much or as little as anything you want. If you think you're gonna want more, start with a little bit and then add as you go. You might like it strong. I don't know. So I'm gonna add some cheese to it. I'll be right back. I pre grate my cheese. I buy the big blocks and I go ahead and I get it grated and 
I have it, you know, I don't have to grade a block every time I want to do something. So, let me put my camera down here. Grab me a big handful. And another big handful. Because my family is cheese crazy, okay? That's why I do this. You know, I grade stuff up and have it for the week or two weeks. Usually it lasts about three days. So, yeah. Let's be honest here. I have to buy my youngest son the um, ex uh, extra sharp. I'll taste of this here in just a second. I'm going to get a spoon. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that stuff is good. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken back in. My macaroni is still cooking. My pasta. Dead in there. Of course, that's going to hopefully turn it down some more. It doesn't need to be toned down. It's really good. Oh, my goodness. Try it again. If they're not crazy about this meal, then they need to get a new mama or something. I'm going to let this pasta cook, you guys. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So, the pasta is ready. I need to drain it. So, I'm going to do that over here. Pay no attention to my missus. Okay, I got my wreath stuff out. I'll follow. Shake it out. Set it back on the pan so you don't drip everywhere. Let me turn this off. And I'm just going to add it in. Just like that. And I'm going to give it a stir. Oh my goodness, y'all know, y'all know it's good. Y'all know it's good. Let me get you a little closer. Can y'all smell it? Look at that. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and get me a little saucer out. Put me some goodness on it. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna fix my whole plate yet because I want to wait till my husband gets home from work and eat with him. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some testing. So let me get. I'm going to cut my chicken in half. I don't want to get too much in my mouth. So I got a piece of chicken. And one noodle. Y'all. And there's enough of it here. To have leftovers. Take to work or whatever. Mmm. 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 That's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of my crock pot and I will put it in my dish over here. And then I'll garnish it with some parsley. Or you could garnish it with whatever you want just to make it look pretty. That's it. That's all it's for. But that's it, you guys. I hope you try this recipe because let me tell you something, honey bunnies. It is good. Okay? It's good. 
Mm. And you can use all your own ingredients. Um, like I said, you can make this spicier. You can make it less spicy. You can do anything you want. Okay? It's good. I'll talk to you guys later, alright? Y'all have an awesome day, okay?